actually using my computer this morning instead of my phone, so I'm going to apologize in advance to the quality of the camera and the audio. Um, my computer doesn't have very good quality. Uh, this morning's prayer is, uh, or theme is, where do you invest? Where do you need to invest your trust at this time? Um, when you are transforming and when you are growing as a human being, we invest trust in the people around us. We trust that they will uplift us. We trust that they will be supportive. We will trust that they will accept us unconditionally with love in their hearts. We trust that we will grow and mature and become better spiritual and corporal beings. And in that trust, we are betrayed. Not every time and not with everybody, not with every person um, and not in every situation, but we are betrayed as we go along in life. And there's a reason for that. Um, we are betrayed and we are not uplifted and we are not supported so that we can find our inner strength and so that we can learn lessons and so that we can manifest change in our lives and so that we can learn from being alone and unsupported in situations. Um, it's not easy. It is devastating, traumatic, hard, um, and very lonely. And I say all these things because I have experienced them. And not all the time. There are many times I have had wonderful experiences with trust and manifesting trust and not manifesting, investing trust in others and been supported and uplifted and all those beautiful things. And I've also had the opposite. It's not a, it's not in any way an accusation. It is my journey. And in my journey, I have had to walk it alone in times that I needed to, to grow and to learn and to be in a place that I am now so that I can give back. Because there are many people out there that are alone that don't know that they're alone or don't realize that maybe someone else has been through a similar journey alone. But the other part of that is spiritually, it gives you insight to things you wouldn't have had insight to. Sometimes being alone and investing your time in someone incorrectly and being betrayed gives you a spiritual awareness of self-reflection. It has forced you to um, be honest in your self-reflection um, and bring self-awareness to a whole new level. So um, it is important to invest your trust in the people around you to grow and to learn. And when some of those people do not and cannot and actively even betray you or sabotage your growth, know that that is part of the lesson and know that you can overcome that and you can become stronger and better and more versatile and more self-aware and you will, you will grow. 
Growth does not happen in a vacuum. Growth cannot happen if you do not have conflict. Now, I say all these things, but that does not mean that you should accept people in your lives, in your life that are going to actively sabotage you and just take it laying down. I'm, I'm not saying that. Definitely don't do that. <laughs> don't become a rug, but know that when, when you have an experience and someone betrays you or that trust is not supportive um, that you have given someone in your experience in life, it's okay to say, okay, I'm not gonna trust that person again. They, they're not good for me. Know, look at it and then what's that lesson? And what's their journey? Have you demonstrated and have you showed them as a strong spiritual individual where your boundaries are? Because you have to be strong in that too. You have to be strong in the outline of your trust. Um, and those are hard things to learn. And things that you think you know at 16 and 17, and things you think you know at 24, 25, and things you know, think you know at 35, 36, and the things you think you know at 40, 41 are all different. And that's okay. I remember teaching a class years ago, and I'm 27, I think, 26, 27. And um, in the class, I think there was one person within five years of my age, and everybody was older than me. Everybody in the class was older than me. And I remembered sitting there thinking, I don't know what these people know. I am not, I have not lived my life as much as they have lived theirs. Why are they here in my class? And then I realized that there are things that I learned at a very young age in my journey that gave me a perspective that these older people did not have in some things, but they had lived life in ways that I had not lived yet. And so they were willing to sit and learn from me. And that's awesome. They gave me their trust. And I hope that I gave them back that respect that I shared with them my experiences. And I know that I learned things from them. There's a particular lady in one of those classes that I learned from for many years. And whether she realizes it or not, she's not in my life now, but I continue to think back of things that she said and things that she did for me. And I still learn from her. Um, and that's a powerful thing when you invest your trust in someone, even when they're no longer in your life, you can still be learning from them. You can still be thinking back at the things that they did or the things that they said. And maybe it's a little tainted by your own, because our memories are not infallible. We, we don't remember things always exactly how they happened. Um, and it's not because we're lying to ourselves or imagining unreal things. It's the fallibility of the human mind. We are, we, we don't always remember things exactly the way they are. I know my memory is fallible, absolutely. Um, but I do remember her spirit and the beauty and the care and the compassion that she had for me, for my situation and for others. Um, and those are things that I continue to learn from, from her, even though she's not in my life. So. The theme for the day is very powerful and I'm, I'm passionate about this one. Where do you need to invest your trust at this time? Who do you need to invest your trust in at this time? Where are you going as a spiritual being and what are the things you're learning from in trusting others? There are people I will never trust again in my life because I could not trust them in a time of need. 
I could not trust them in a time that I was vulnerable and I needed help. Um, and that's okay. They are not part of my journey in, in a trusting manner. They are part of my journey in someone who betrayed me or let me down or was unable to be there for me. And that's okay. I know that. I have also created a boundary of expectation and a boundary of, um, a protective boundary around myself and I'm careful about who I let in that. And that's, that's important. You have to learn these things so that you are protected as you grow. And you can't protect yourself against everybody and you can't protect yourself against the journey that your life is taking and you cannot protect yourself against the lessons that are meant to happen. Sometimes bad things happen and that is part of the journey. It doesn't mean you can't protect yourself against it happening again. Having things happen in your journey and accepting that those are the things that are part of your journey are different than being stupid and being completely unaware and being um, self-sacrificing in the sense that you repetitively allow people to abuse you. <clears throat> That's a different journey. <laughs> um, there's a lot of nuances in any theme. There's a lot of layers. There's no, there's no straight line that says from point A to point B to point C, you will gain enlightenment in this one thing. That's not how it works. If you're looking for that, you will not find it in spirituality. <laughs> you might find it in a textbook maybe, but you won't find it in, in life's journey. Lady of splendor, Lord of glory, I turn to your loving embrace, entering into the shrine of silence. I give you thanks as my soul is reconsecrated by your silence. Soul friends all, teacher of my soul, as the autumn light ripens the grain and fruits of the earth, so I seek to ripen my soul with your help. Lead me along the pathways where I find the answers to the questions of this day. I ask a blessing on all who are seeking for justice, for all who suffer the law's delay. May the Holy Ones bring a gift of merciful justice to those who are innocent and yet stand accused. As the days shorten and the nights lengthen, may all who withdraw into the hermitage of the heart to find spiritual refreshment and divine peace. When my heart is empty of spirit, may the Holy Ones help rekindle it and lead me to find the special personal ways that will help me, help me keep it burning. I bring to my mind the paths along which my heart already travels. I give thanks for the delight of my body and my needs and within the greater respect of others whom I share my love. Well, that's today's prayer. I hope you all have a beautiful day. It's not as smoky, I think. It's very cloudy. Hopefully it'll rain a little bit. Um, there's so much, so much going on um, in my head <laughs> and so much going on in my heart. I have a couple more um, biotoxin 